Welcome, this is the Delta Math Solution Tutorial. This is covering finding angles in transversal problems. Here we are given that M is parallel to N. You're going to find the value of X. Let's take a look closer here. We see that this angle of X exists right here. If we reflect that, it's going to be congruent to this angle here. Okay, we just reflect it. Okay, then we translate it down so it's going to slide down here. Okay, and it's going to be right here. So notice we reflect it, then we translate it or slide it down and we saw that x is the same angle here as this 17 so we can say that this angle is also going to be 17 so x is equal to 17 they're congruent by transformation we reflect it then translate it down so that is correct, okay? We have a name for this one. This is called your alternate exterior angle as well, All right? Next, it says given that M is parallel to N, you're going to find the value of X for this image. We have to see how these two angles are related. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the angle X which is this angle and I'm going to slide it down All right and it's right here okay I'm going to slide it down by the transformation of translation All right and I see that here it forms a line with this angle this forms a line. So we know that angle X plus 163 degrees is equal to 180 because they are linear pairs. All right? Now, all we're going to do now is solve for X. So subtract 163 to both sides you get angle X is equal to 180, subtract 163, gets you 17, all right? So we put 17 here. Hit enter, hit yes, we are correct, all right? So here, the way they did it is they moved the 163 up, all right? But this, but they still get the same answer as what we did. The name for this is corresponding angle. And they saw that the adjacent angles here are supplementary, which is equivalent to us saying that they are linear pairs. Let's do this problem now. This asks, given that angle, given that the line M is parallel to line N, you want to find the value of X. Let's see how these angles are related on this parallel line. We see that we can slide this angle of 67. We're going to slide this angle down. Okay. We're going to slide it down right here. And again, it's still 67 because we just slide it down using translation. Then we see that these two angles here, they make a line. So we will say they make a line right here. So we say that angle X plus 67 is going to be equal to 180 degrees because they are linear pairs. Okay, now let's solve for X. So we subtract 67 to both sides. Then we get angle X is going to be equal to 
180 subtract 67 which is 113 degrees let's put in the answer and let's see 113 we should be correct good right so you see how they brought the 67 down and they saw that these two have to be linear pairs or the word supplementary good here we have given that line m is parallel to line n find the value of x we have to look at how the angles are related all right so I'm going to take the 58 degrees here and I'm going to slide it up. I'm going to slide it up to this parallel line. So it's going to slide up right here. Right. And this is going to be 56 degrees also because we just slide it by the transformation of translation. Right. Then we would see that these two angles. Okay, angle 56 is going to be equal to angle X because they are vertical angles. All right, there we, there we go. So let's enter that. We are correct. Okay, notice that you can slide the 56 up and we saw that they are vertical angles. The name for this is called alternate interior as well. All right. So there you go. Hopefully that helped you. And those are your solutions for finding angles in transversal problems.